In today's video, I'm gonna be having some fun with banana rum. I've got five absolutely exquisite banana rum based cocktails for you. We've got like a banana daiquiri there, we've got a simple highball and old fashioned punches, and we're all gonna be featuring Dead Man's Fingers uh, banana rum, except we're not. Long story short, I'm not overly impressed with that rum at all. I have reviewed it on my other channel and there will be a link in the show description below of where you can go and check out my review of that. But I'll be honest, I'm a big Dead Man's Fingers fanboy. I love them because they're caught originally Cornish like me. I don't rate that at all. So what I'm actually doing, I'm actually gonna use uh, Banana Bomb and I've finished off my bottle of Banana Bomb. However, if you haven't got that, that is my go-to out and out. And in that review that I'll link to, my second place banana rum I've actually got is actually Cargo Colt. Let's give you a close-up of that as well. Um, so either of those two would be great, but in all honesty, I'm just gonna consign that to the dustbin. Right, your first cocktail is a very simple banana and uh, coffee highball with Coke, obviously, banana coffee and Coke. And the inspiration for this actually came off um, another bartender, Pratesh Modi, who uh, I kind of saw on uh, Sunday Brunch, Channel 4 Sunday Brunch in the UK, and he was showcasing banana bomb for this. And he used a coffee-flavoured cola. Now, obviously, to most of us, we can't get hold of a co coffee-flavoured cola, so I was having a little play uh, and just came up with this, a very, very simple, easy riff and it is absolutely banging so obviously we've got the banana bomb i am using mr black for an unsweetened uh, coffee liqueur or yes you can use kalua tia maria whatever you fancy they're just going to be slightly sweeter uh, and just normal uh, coca-cola now very simple this one obviously it's just a build in the glass and to be fair the ratios are completely up to you just note that the uh, the banana bomb is uh, quite strong in that respect. It's 57%. Um, so, you know, you could use to a normal sort of banana rum that are 37s, maybe 40s is quite a bit stronger than that. Uh, so I'm just I'm just gonna do a standard 45 mil, one and a half ounces of that. But if you wanna dial it down to 30, that's absolutely fine. Then the next ingredient is obviously our coffee liqueur. Um, and I'm just going for a purely 15 mil, half an ounce of Mr. Black, let's say Kahlua and all that will be absolutely fine. And then I'm just gonna simply top up with Coke. I've got Coke Zero here, uh, but whatever you fancy using is absolutely fine. So, just pour that in there. It's been open a few minutes. The fizz is still there a little bit. Just gonna give it a quick little stir. Then top up, because the banana bomb is actually quite strong, I'm gonna use the whole can here. There we go. And then I'm just gonna simply top out with more ice. And then to garnish, uh, whatever you fancy, I'm just going for some uh, dehydrated lime here. Uh, just fresh lime, whatever you kind of fancy down there, absolutely not a problem. But there we go. Just uh, a very simple banana coffee cola highball. I fell in love with that the first time I tried it. It's proper banana forward with the coffee it's so simple, but I generally probably wouldn't have put uh, coffee and banana together with Coke in that sense, but it just works. It really does work. So big, big fan of that. Right, cocktail two is kind of like a banana rum, old fashioned, but lots of fun to be had in this cocktail. So I'm going for my banana bum, a uh, banana bum, banana bum rum. God, that's fun, isn't it? Banana bum. Uh, we're going for that. Uh, I'm going for Amaretto. If you've got De Serrano, that'll be your main one, of course it will, but that's the brand I'm using at the moment. Amaretto. I've got a chocolate, Mozart's chocolate liqueur. Think uh, cacao, dark cacao. That's more what that is. Uh, a touch of cinnamon syrup, and then I'm going for some chocolate bitters. Right, and then this one's gonna get uh, stirred down in a mixing glass, so no shaking for this one. Uh, first ingredient, we're gonna go for the banana bomb rum. I nearly, I nearly said it again. Uh, and I'm gonna go 45 mil, one and a half ounces of that. Then the next ingredient I'm going for is the amaretto. So I'm just going for 15 mil, one and a half ounces of of this, there we go, perfect. And then I'm going for my chocolate liqueur. Uh, Mozart, as I say, just think of this as a dark uh, sort of cacao. And again, I'm going for 15 mil, which is half an ounce. 
Just had chocolate banana is lovely. Now this will depend on your, how sweet your palate is. But I think because of the amount of alcohol in there and because the banana bottom is quite strong, I think you can get away with this even for the, like the less sweet tooth. So I'm going for 10 mil, which is a third of an ounce of just um, cinnamon syrup. And then I'm just going for my uh, chocolate bitters. Now I'm not gonna use the spritz cap. I'm not gonna spritz the inside of the glass. I'm actually going for just no, Rhyme or reason, I'm actually just going for uh, probably two of those. That'll be the equivalent of kind of like two dashes of chocolate bitters. There we go. So all we need to do now is just um, ice it up and give it a stir. And my general rule of thumb, as I always say when doing old fashions, I kind of, when I'm stirring, I kind of stir to the point where I've doubled the amount of liquid in the glass. So the ice will add the dilution. So I'm just doubling up essentially. That for me normally is about 90 seconds of stirring, okay? Right, that is about bang on uh, 90 seconds. So then to serve this up, uh, I'm just going for a rocks glass. You could use, I haven't got any, I haven't done in for ages, but like a big ball of ice. I'm just going for some fresh, um, fresh ice in there and I'm just gonna strain that over the top. And then to be honest, garnish with whatever you fancy, but I like to go faff free these days. You could even use a maraschino cherry if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna use uh, a dehydrated orange. I think that'll go quite nicely. That is exquisite banana chocolate, the first two notes I get off there. It's not actually that sweet because of the alcohol forward in that banana rum. But you kind of get those like almond notes coming off the back there, but the chocolate, Oh, banana chocolate. That is a gorgeous rum fashion. Love it. So your third cocktail is banana daiquiri time. And this is my fun interpretation on a banana daiquiri. You could go plain and boring, banana rum, lime and sugar. Of course you could, but I wanted to have some fun. So I'm going for a kind of like a coconut, almond, uh, banana daiquiri. Absolutely insanely good. So good. Banana rum. Uh, Kalani. It's a, a coconut liqueur. Think a stronger, tastier, more authentic Malibu. Um, it's, it's not proper full strength, it's 30% ABV, but it's just like dipping your straw into a coconut, it's that good. Uh, I've got some orgeat syrup, almond syrup essentially, lime juice. Uh, I wanted to have a bit of fun with bitters. Don't think that you have to use them. Inspiration, molasses bitters, molasses kind of treacle. It's where rum kind of essentially comes from, those kind of molasses notes. That'll go beautifully with the banana, of course it will. And then I just want a like a nice light white layer of foam on top of froth. I like that kind of effect. So I've got some of my foamers. Right then, so it's time to get our shake on. This is the first shake and cocktail. So first ingredient is the banana rum. I'm just gonna stick to the same ra ra ratio for this. So 45 mil, one and a half ounces of this. Gorgeous. If you've got a weaker one, go for 60 mil. And then next up, I'm going for my Kalani. Let's give you a close up on that. My go-to coconut liqueur. Absolutely gorgeous. 15 mil, a half an ounce of that. Banana, coconut, it's always gonna work. Then I'm gonna go for my Orgeat syrup. Uh, and then again for this, I'm just going for 15 mil. I don't think you'll need any more than this, even if you have got a sweeter tooth. 15 mil should be perfect. Now time for the lime juice. I'm actually going for a full ounce, 30 mil of freshly squeezed lime juice. Uh, and feel free to dial this back as well, but I think that's perfect. Right then, bitters time. So let's give you a close up on them. Fee Brothers Molasses Bitters. As I say, can't get any more, um, can't give you any more insight than that. They're just kind of that treacle notes, which is gonna work well. Uh, I'm going for two dashes. One, two. And then as I said, I want the white froth on top. I love that effect. So, uh, and I've been experimenting with these. I think you've all been, the regulars will see. I'm down to just six drops of this stuff now. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, they say eight, but I'm getting away with six and it works beautifully. Well then, just gonna dry shake this up just to kind of whip it up and get the foam. Uh, just point out, I'm not saying this is an egg white cocktail. I don't think you would use egg white at all. I just love the foamers to get the foam effect, that's all. So five seconds, we take it from that, nice and flat to Literally, that's the, that's what we want. And that'll whip up even more with some ice. So just gonna ice this up and then proper hard fast shake, 10 to 12 seconds. And then to serve this up, uh, I've got it right at the front, ready and waiting. I'm going for this uh, kind of tiki coop. Uh, and I'm go gonna uh, just double strain. Double straining keeps us that nice sort of white froth on top. 
There we go, perfect. And then just the garnish. I've got them here ready and waiting. Again, faff free, hassle free. I've got uh, ODK dehydrated uh, lime just on top. That is everything <laughs> I want from a daiquiri and more banana forwards. <laughs> I'd love that rum. Banana forwards. You get subtle hints of coconut. It actually is not as vibrant as you might think it is. But the almond as well, the almond and banana, that is gorgeous. I love that. Right then, so cocktail number four is just a fun, cheeky riff on the dirty banana cocktail. So, uh, obviously, we've got the banana rum. Uh, I've gone for JJ Whitley's ban uh, banana toffee uh, vodka there. So, it's, it's not full strength, but it's more like toffee liqueur strength, but it is vodka based. So, that is absolutely delicious. Mr. Black coffee liqueur, liqueur, just some plain sugar. And then I've got half and half there, half um, half single cream, half milk. Right then, for this one, I'm actually gonna get my little Nutribullet out to play. So, um, we're gonna be gonna blend this up. Now, um, it's not because I'm running low. I think I should just have enough rum here uh, to do the, four, the fifth and final cocktail, but I've actually gone 30 mil, one ounce of this. Um, I don't know why, it's just what I've written down in front of me. So 30 mil. And then the next ingredient is my toffee vodka. Let's give you a close up on that. And again, I'm gonna match this. I'm going 30 mil of that. So 30 mil, one ounce toffee vodka. Now I'm going for my coffee liqueur, Mr. Black. The only thing I would note, sorry, I didn't say this a minute ago, but if you are using Kahlua or Tia Maria, then I wouldn't use the sugar syrup, okay? So that'll kind of, if you use uh, sugar syrup with Kahlua, then I think it's gonna be a bit too sweet for a lot of people. Uh, but play about, of course. Um, but yeah, just because it's an unsweetened one, I'm going for 15 mil, half an ounce of uh, Mr. Black. And then as I just mentioned it, I'm gonna go for the sugar syrup. Uh, it's a 10 mil. And don't ask me why I didn't use Kahlua. It's sitting right up there. I should have just used Kahlua, but there we go. Um, I'm just going for 10 mil, a third of an ounce of sugar syrup. And then just to tie all this in nicely together, I'm going for 30 mil, one ounce of half and half, uh, single cream and milk combined. Right then, so just need to add some ice to this. Now I've got slightly smaller, oh God, my ice crush is broken. Uh, so I've got slightly smaller ice here because I always preach if you're using blenders, try and use crushed ice because it'll prolong the, the blades and the motor a bit better. So it's not my big fat chunky ice, but it's just slightly smaller ice and that should blend down nicely. A bit more, there we go. And then I'm just gonna blend this up for Probably just about a bit more. Normally, if it was crushed ice, I'd do five seconds. But as it's bigger, probably slightly longer. It's about 10 seconds or so. But then, as that was slightly larger ice, that took a little bit longer, closer to 15 seconds. But hopefully, I've taken... Yeah, that'd be perfect. Uh, you could go for a hurricane glass or your favourite kind of glass. But I've got my little cool pineapple glass there. So, yeah, perfect. Look at this. Not sure if it'll fill the glass completely up, but we shall see. There we go. Perfect. We can add we can add a bit more ice. Literally two more ice cubes, that was ready to go. I'm just gonna garnish, I've just quickly whipped them out of the freezer and um, some um, pineapple leaves essentially, but you could do like a little banana kebab if you wanted to. Oh, that is fun. That is proper fun, the toffee. Toffee and banana goes well, obviously it's like banoffee. Um, but you get that coffee notes coming through there as well. Honestly, I really, really like that. That is super good. That's a fun summer drink. Right then, in your fifth and final cocktail, I'm just going for a fun banana punch. Um, so ingredients, uh, I sh I've got enough uh, banana rum left. Uh, I've got some honey syrup and some mango syrup. I've got some tropical soda, which um, essentially is Fentiman's. It is uh, slightly sweet, but it is it's dialed back. So it's not the sweetness of your uh, kind of your Fantas, your Tangos and all that kind of stuff. But it is pineapple forward, hints of juniper in there. It's lovely. I've got some lime juice, some pressed pineapple juice, and then I'm gonna finish it off with some tiki bitters, which are kind of cinnamon and allspice flavored. Right then, so shaken cocktail. Just gonna use that, I've just washed it up. Uh, first ingredient. Now I've written down 45 mil of uh, banana rum. I was gonna stick to 45, but I'll tell you the truth. If there's 60 mil in here, I'm gonna use it. So we shall see, oh, 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 there's about 65 mil, look at that. Am I gonna spill it now? No. <laughs> there we go. Right, next ingredient I'm going for is my honey syrup. 
Uh, and I'm gonna go for 15 mil, half an ounce of that. Just, if you're gonna make it yourself, just do uh, two parts normal honey to one part water. Uh, and that'll make it even more runny honey and that's what you want. Then I'm going for some uh, mango syrup or mango puree, whatever you've got at home um, or whatever you wanna buy. I'm going for the same again, 15 ml, half an ounce of mango syrup. And then for the lime juice, I've kind of uh, written down 15 ml, but because I added more banana and I've just slightly overdone it, I've gone like 16, 17, 18 ml on the syrups. I'm actually gonna up this to 22 and a half ml. Um, so two, three quarters of an ounce, essentially, of lime juice. Then I'm gonna do uh, pressed pineapple juice. I always say this, pressed is better than concentrate. Don't get the concentrate juice, pressed. It will taste so much better. So, and this is just supermarket, it's Tesco's own, but it's 100% pressed. So I'm going for 30 ml of pressed pineapple juice. Now the final ingredient before the shake, that is fizzy, so I'm not gonna shake that, obviously, is my um, tiki bitters. I love this stuff. Lovely notes of kind of like cinnamon, all spice going on. Right, uh, I want about two of those dashes. So one, yeah, perfect. Right then, I'm just gonna shake this down. So plenty of ice going in there, one more cube, and then a hard, fast shake for 10 to 12 seconds. And then I'm just gonna finish off with my mixer. So fresh bottle of this, I'll go through a lot of this stuff. Love this, uh, and I'm going for 45 mil, one and a half ounces of uh, Fenceman's pineapple soda, tropical soda. Well then, just to serve it up, I'm just going for my, um, just a fun kind of tiki glass, whatever you've got. Um, you could do fresh ice, I'm actually gonna do a shake and dump, I kinda do shake and dumps with punches, especially with the pineapple juice in there. And then just to garnish, um, you could do pineapple leaves. I've already used the pineapple leaf, so I've got a dehydrated pineapple that I'm obviously gonna use, faff-free. So let's put a bit of this in. And because it's kind of tiki punch, you could go as leery as you want. I've got a sprig of mint here. Pop a sprig of mint in. Cool, that'll give it a bit of color contrast. And why not, let's do a cherry as well. Lovely maraschino cherry. Oh, so good. Actually, for a lot of you, that isn't gonna be sweet enough, but it's perfect for me. I have got a little bit of a sweet tooth, but not excessively sweet. The mango notes, the honey notes, might be a touch too much lime in there for a lot of you because I added too much, I, an, an extra bit of booze. But that is a gorgeous kind of banana comes through. Mango, oh, I love it, I love it. A uh, big old thumbs up if you like the recipes and if you like me. Uh, as always, if you want to dive into another video, check out that one that's popping right up sc on screen right there. And as always, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel.